Hey, it's Bucket Bacon Trees. Thanks for stopping by or clicking by. I'm going to do a quick video on how to animate still pictures and text, if you want, on Vegas Pro. I'm using Vegas Pro 17. So what I'm going to do is open this folder with a bunch of pictures in it. I've got a picture of me sitting in a dog pen for when our dog was training. Drag and drop onto the timeline. It automatically appears in the project media. Or you can drag and drop right into project media and then put it on the timeline. Either way. And then and if you want to put it on the timeline afterwards, you can right click, open in trimmer, but it's a still picture, so it's going to be the same thing over time. So you can simply just drag and drop it onto the timeline. I'm going to undo that. Control Z, left click, hold, drag and drop. There we go. But I'm going to get rid of it. Control X, get rid of it. Now, I want to animate this picture. So I grab the crop tool right here press it left click there's the picture okay I'm gonna just drag this window up here so I can see what I'm doing put my master bus on another screen and I'm gonna down scroll a little bit to shrink the picture a bit now over the period of four seconds I want to zoom in on the picture so I take my cursor and I put it here at the four second mark and I double click left right there now this little triangle appears so what I'm gonna do now is just grab any one of these little squares on the side and I'm going to hold left click hold zoom in okay let go and then I'm gonna use the multi-directional arrow left click hold and bring it up to a close-up of my face oops a little too much so You've got to be careful because if you make this move it's actually going to remember you made the move all right now let's play the picture so i go up here put my cursor here and i press play now it animates the picture it did it pretty well that's all there is to animating the picture but what about text well, you can go into the, uh, let's close this now, into the media generators, grab titles and text, and wait for, uh, my computer's been working over time, so things are a little slow. And you can actually just grab one of these presets that animate the text. Just hold the mouse over and it's gonna show you how it animates the text. I actually used, what did I use, fly in, fly in from the right, pop up. These are all great presets you can use to animate. So let's just grab this, this one that says, wait, action, flip, bounce. Left click, hold, drag and drop onto the timeline. But if I'm going to animate the text over the picture I just edited, I can right click on the timeline, oops, sorry, right click on the timeline insert video track left click hold drag this text box over the image that i have uh, shrink it so it's the same length okay and that's all there is to that now it's going to do this on its own now if i want to see it smoothly depending on how much work i have on my computer i'm going to have to put it in draft mode half so that i can see everything moving smoothly it just takes the quality away so it can give you a um, a vision beforehand of the actual animation that's happening. So if I right click on the text box and I edit generated media, I can change the text and go how to do animated picture and text. Okay, that's it. Now, here we go. Go back, put the cursor at the beginning. Oh, it ran out of time. It took too long for that to happen. So all I'm going to do is hold this and make it bigger and hold this picture and make it well, longer, sorry, longer. And then right click, edit generated media, control A or just highlight everything and change the size of it. So I'm going to change the size to um, 24. Let's see what happens with 24. All right, right click. Let's go back, edit generated media, put it in the middle. I'll put everything in the middle. 
So highlight everything, control A, or just left click hold and highlight everything, put it in the middle, and let's see what happens. So you're going to have to play with it to customize it, of course. Now, let's say it's just basic text. Well, I'm going to take this, control X, get rid of it. So I highlighted it, control X, got rid of it. I'm just going to go left click, hold, drag and drop text on timeline. And then automatically this pops up with the sample text. Now I'm going to go how to, oops, I got my capital on. How to animate pics and text. Control A in the little window, make it a different size. So 32 size might be better. Center justify, uh, make it bold. And I can do all sorts of different things with the text if I want to, but now I, I need it to animate. So the crop tool, press the crop. It's gonna show my text. Drag this over here. Take the little square. So I'm gonna expand this window a little bit by holding, left click and holding with the double arrow there to make the window bigger. Okay, go to any one of these squares. I'll take this bottom one. Left click, hold, and make it as big as you want. Let it go. Do the same thing as you did with the picture. I'm going to double click at uh, three seconds, which is one, two, three. Double click. Wait a sec for the thing to pop up. There we go. Now, hold, left click, hold, and make it smaller again. Make the box smaller, which makes the text bigger. Of course. Well, let's just see what happened there. And that's how to animate pics and text on um, Vegas Pro 17. Don't forget to save. That's it. That's pretty much it. Hope this helps. Um, and thanks, Janet, for making the suggestion, for making this video. I like when people give suggestions to help them out when it comes to uh, doing any sort of this editing on Vegas Pro. Oh, one quick little fun thing you might want to do. Let's just go to this text box right here. I'm going to just shrink this text so we don't see it. Get that out of the way. And go to my picture of me sitting in the dog pen. Drag the picture from the bin. Put it on the timeline. Simple. Grab the crop tool. Press it. Takes a second. I shrink it by down scrolling a little bit. Make sure you go into the circle where the little arrows are. Double, well, that's where you're going to actually control it. Double click on the little timeline. Your little triangle, your diamond appears. Go to this circle thing, and I'm going to left click, hold, spin around once. and then go back, keep holding, don't let go, keep holding, go back to the resting position. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. Over four seconds, it spins one time. Now, what if I want to double click again on the four second mark, and then zoom right in. And see what happens. There we go. So it zooms in as it's spinning. All right, that's a good effect. Zoom in as it spins. Da -na -na -na. So all I did was, uh, of course, you could say I double clicked again on the thing and I made it zoom in from that point. So I did two things at once in the four seconds spin and zoom. Now watch this again because um, you might want to have to take some notes while you're watching this to practice. Cheers!